Many of you have asked how my Gigabyte 1050 Ti low profile has fared in my small form factor Optiplex 7020. Well, today you're going to find out. It's been nine months since I installed it. It was a tight fit, but we're going to see what the temperatures look like, how it runs games, and do a benchmark test. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> This machine has been primarily used for emulation. This is my big box front end. We're going to start out with the Cannonball remake of Sega Outrun. If you would like to see me test more games, please let me know in the comments. Okay, since I smashed into the back of a semi and I don't want to play anymore, let's get started with the benchmark. I chose to use user benchmark because it was free and was one of the top hits on Google. I'm speeding up the video to five times so that this progress bar is a little less boring as it goes across. It's about to do its 3D tests, and then a little bit more on the progress bar, and we'll get our results here in just a sec. Okay, our test is complete, and it doesn't like our graphics card. It says it'll struggle at anything beyond 1080p resolution, but in reality, I'm mainly only using this machine for emulation, and any of the modern games that I'm running, I'm running at 1080p, and they are definitely modest games like Age of Empires 2, Definitive Edition, Flight Simulator, games that are not extremely graphics intensive. They are somewhat. And this graphics card's been able to handle them with no problems. Um, it, the test really likes my SSD that I'm running the operating system off of. It even likes my hard disk drive that was original on the machine that I'm using for mass storage. There was some sort of error, I'm not sure why, with the with the RAM, but I have 16 gigabytes of RAM in here. 